ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a great day today. Today, I'd like to share with you on how I shade skin. We'll be editing Ramonade, one of the gacha presets, but it's the gender bent version. Without further ado, let's get into it. First, open the layer window on the bottom right corner. Now, find the layer which you put the base color for skin. For me, I use it on the very bottom. Now, tap on this add button. It says add layer. Next, we click this arrow that says clipping. Now, we click normal. Here, on the blending mode, click on multiply. Now, feel free to close the layer window. Now, pick your brush in here. I use the brush, round brush particle. Now, we adjust the color. I use for skin shading somewhere between red. Since I have given you the code for round brush particle, now we can start shading the edges of the skin. I speed this up so you can clearly see what I'm doing here. Here, I normally start by shading the shadows for the bangs. Now, I have to admit, it's really hard to shade the belly, but since we're just shading the edges, it's easy. Now moving on to the feet, I will make the kneecaps later. Same thing here, I started shading the edges too. Same here with the hands. And also the fingers. Alright, now all the edges are shaded. Now we open the layer window. We add yet another layer. We clip it again just like what we did on the first one. Next, we click onto the normal and blending mode multiply. Now, I set it to multiply so the colors will become darker. Now, choose the color red and we will go to the brush window. We click airbrush on the normal one. by shading the cheeks. Also, we shade it on the darker areas. I'll shade some on the edges of the belly as well. Trust me, there's going to be a lot of shading to do here because this is a full body edit. Now, we're gonna do the bottom part of the eye. Now, open the layer window. Add another layer by clicking Add Layer. On the new Make layer, we select Clipping. Now, select Normal. On the Blending Mode, click Multiply. On the Brush Window, click Round Brush Particle. I'm pretty sure I have given you the QR code earlier. Now, we make a curve following the eyelash shape. Make sure to do it on both eyes. Now, go ahead and select Blur. Now, we will blur the bottom part of the line. There are a lot of brushes here. You can choose one. I highly recommend you to choose Pen Fade. 
Now, start shading the bottom part of the eyelid. See, it looks more realistic now. Do the same thing with the other eye. You can adjust the opacity down here. And feel free to make some adjustments. making the nose. Add layer, clip it, and change the blending mode to multiply. Using an airbrush, we can make the nose. Be sure to use pinkish color for this. Here, you can either make a new layer, clip it, and change the blending mode to multiply, or you can stick to the same layer. Choose round brush particle. Now for a peach skin, I prefer a reddish color. Make a curve line following the eyelash. Now, we will make the shades for the top part of the eyelid. Add a new layer, clip it, and then click the normal, and then change the blending mode to multiply. Now, we can adjust the opacity down here. Set it for about 60%. Now, we open the brush window and select pen fade. brush size a little bit bigger, and we shade the left and the right part of the eyelid. Do the same thing with the other eye. Oh, that looks weird. Don't mind that, please. Okay, even though it looks weird, I will still shade the left and the right part for the eyelids. Okay, now the skin shading looks more lively. Next, we're gonna do the kneecaps. It's a little bit difficult, but try to follow up. Now, we add layer. We clip it. Click normal, and on the blending mode, we choose multiply. Now, after adding another layer, we choose a darker red color. Do it like what I'm doing here. Yes, it looks weird, but trust the process. Now, gradually make the color lighter. And shade it in the middle of the kneecaps. Here, I'll drag the round thing up so the color will be lighter and we will continue this process until you choose the color white. I'll speed it up from here so you can see what I'm doing. have a kneecap now. Here, I'll do a little bit of adjustment. You can blur the edges of the kneecap if you want to. It looks better too. For me, the kneecap is too much of a color, so I decided to lower the opacity.
Now, we will add some touches to the legs. We first add layer. And then press clipping to clip the layer. And then change this normal into multiply in blending mode. Here, I use airbrush to shade the edges. And also, I will lower the opacity. Here, I use a similar method as what I did earlier on the kneecaps for shading the belly. In this part, I will do some finishing touches for the skin shading, like some parts of the belly, and since I forgot to shade the ears, I also shade the ears. I also do some more adjustments to the edits. You can also shade the lips, like what I did here. I also add some shines on the finishing touches part. I also added some highlights in the belly. You can add highlights in the kneecaps too. Okay, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. As always, please subscribe, like, and share this video. Might be a little thing for you, but it means the world to me. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.